I, I tried. Okay, I watched that uh, Jabba. I I will. I'll watch it at the end of the stream. But I don't know if that's a good way to begin it. So I, I'd rather not at the moment. But I'll play it. Uh, I have. Oh, it's oh hothead. Where have you been? Where have you been, hothead? Um, yeah. So I uh I moved up Thursday stream to today, as well as next week on uh, Wednesday, because of the uh cockfight show that Dark Gift is doing tomorrow. So I moved up my regular stream for today, or to today, I should say. So I will um. I will uh, do today and then next week on Wednesday. In the meantime, uh, as I get my materials ready, enjoy this other song until I uh, am ready to start. Here we go. Like That's a good question, Hyatt. What am I doing? Well, here's what I'm doing. Let me lower the volume a little bit. The music. There we go. Um, so you haven't been around the last few weeks. I'm doing a weekly stream where I talk about uh, outlier in the indie comic scene that uh, have had similar journeys as I have with their uh, art style. So I'm having a, a journey that we're all partaking. And uh, we're doing another manga artist. I figured uh, I'm going to do some rabbit holes and uh, pull up some information. Some enlightening stuff that I found out. I think that might inspire some people uh, who are looking to try to you know, make a sort of an audience and how that goes. Go spiel because we all can't just hop on the, uh, uh, the drama screen and uh, build an audience that way. None of us are good that way. I gotta slow it down. I'm drinking a cup of coffee right now. I don't think that's good for me. I don't care if you're sad or you're going to be happy. Drink your drink your if you're happy. Oh, I feel good. I think anyway. But um, Wednesday, Wednesday, folks. How was everybody on Wednesday evening? Uh, I totally forgot tonight was going to be the return of the Slumpy Slums, the Slum Lord stream. So, not that I intended to be a precursor to that, but hey, it worked out that way because why not? Nice little precursor. So, we're going to be journeying here on our. Wednesday evening. Hopefully you're having a good time. Hopefully you guys feel inspired artistically. And hopefully I'm not too spurgy for you. Hopefully I'm not too uh, into my thoughts or into my uh, analysis. I'll keep it as entertaining as I can be with my fair word. Uh, Kirby Kirby's in the chat. Well, Kirby Kirby, Willie Iceman, Willie Neff, Hothead making a return after how long have you been away, Hothead? How long have you been away? You hurt my heart. You should have. You should have been here in the beginning. You hurt my heart. I won't forgive you for this. Uh, Suzanne Eckstein, how are you, Suzanne? Thanks for being here. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you here. Um, while the on Twitter, interesting the on Twitter. It's amazing what I found out on Twitter. You can like a tweet, and by simply liking a tweet, you get a couple of new follows. I've discovered a new way to grow my my profile on Twitter. Just like a few tweets here or there. See, we had it wrong. We thought if we like a tweet, we get canceled. No, just like the right tweets and you'll grow your following. It's, it's awesome. I, I will I will uh, have to do a progress report next week when um, I uh, report back. Hothead says, I'm always here. I've just been lurking in the background. No, my friend, you got to come in the foreground. You got to come in the foreground. That's not how we do it here. Come in the foreground. You know I need the engagement. So if you're enjoying the content, you gotta let me know. You gotta be engaged with me. Just just uh keep me informed. Feedback's always welcome. Not all feedback, but 
feedback or roles always welcome. Ways that I can uh, keep uh, you all entertained. Uh, this is being multi-streamed right now on my Elasmat Comics Facebook page, as well as on my Twitter. So let's see here. Just to do a quick, quick, quick uh, perusal on my profile. And uh, here we go. I'm going to just do a quick uh, repost. The uh, engagement on Twitter has been very good. So I just got to get people who are engaged to, in, on Twitter to actually engage so that they can be a part of the stream. Coom pop or com poop. No, com pop. Three is three, three the charm. Um, Googling Kazutomo. Kazutomo is a very interesting little um, character. His story, as far as um, his, his journey as an artist, is also pretty interesting. I bought myself a copy of his book, Saito, or Handyman, Saito in Another World, book one. This was a book that he actually started on Twitter. If you guys are familiar with the Webtoons model, so you know how many creators, they'll go on Webtoons and put their comics up for free. They build their following that way. And then after they build like thousands upon thousands of people following them, uh, they then turn those pages that they uploaded for free into printable, uh, marketable books that they make money off of. It's a tried and true model. Well, uh, Kazutomo did that, but on Twitter, Japanese Twitter to be exact. And uh, in my research, I found that uh, a lot of his old tweets are gone. So you, good luck trying to find those old tweets. But his pencils, his line art was pretty rough, to say the least. So he got, as you would expect, he got um, some pushback as far as uh, his early styles. Now, I try to find earlier examples of his art, especially when he posted on Twitter. And um, let me see what I pulled up here. The only known example I could find here of Kazutomo Ichi, Ichi Tomo's artwork is uh, one singular page that has survived on Twin Man. Let me share it here. So this is an example of his early pencils. There we go. Let me uh, remove the, the banner for my, you know, I need it for some promotion, but there we go. There we go. Oh, this one's better. There we go. So there's his banner. I mean, his banner. There's his page. This is his earliest known artwork that he had posted on Twitter that's currently existing right now because he deleted most of his early stuff. But you can look at his pencils here. Let me see if I can enlarge it. I don't know if I can enlarge Yeah, I can enlarge it. There you go. So you can see his, his line art, his pencil work. It was uh, criticized for being very thin, and he did a lot of scratches. But this is what he posted on early days on Twitter. And uh, the feedback was mixed, to say the least. As you can see, it's not necessarily the conventional manga that, that we all know. In, in, light of, in the light of the passing of Akira Toriyama, the familiarity of that manga, you get something like this, which is very unconventional. You don't see this often in manga. In, in manga, especially in the Korean style, in a joke there. Manger says hot. Yes, I see. I said it right. I said it right. Manger. Yes. Manger. Um, but this is the Jitomo's uh, earliest surviving digital artwork on display on Twitter. I mean, on Twitter. This is um, Twin Man, the website. Tw Twinman.net. Yeah. But his earliest one on Twitter is lost to time. No way of finding it. No way of finding the, uh, the critiques by those that uh, watched it early on. So there's no way to really determine um, exactly how crude his art style was. But um, yeah, he was very, very, very uh, engaging with the Twitter crowd back in back in the day. And uh, funny thing with uh, Ijitomo is after he got picked up later on by by a manga company, he stopped engaging on Twitter. Well, we'll I'll talk a little bit about that in a second, but um. Uh, he he started his handyman story on Twitter. So you will do a page, upload it on Twitter. And the thing with the handyman story earlier on was it would be, uh, I know, Matt Daba, I know, I know. Have a good night, my friend. Have a good night. I know. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's awesome. Er, the, he uploaded his stuff, right? Uh, his first few pages of the book. But they were like one to two page stories. Kind of like how you would you would uh, read a Charles Schultz Peanuts book or a, a Garfield book. Um 
Well, this isn't my art only, but this is a uh, Kazutomo Ujitomo. So this is actually not mine. So I, I I will take that as a compliment. But I think Ujitomo is a better artist than me. Much better. <laughs> Java says, uh, you should have done the stream over in Dark Gift Stream. You wouldn't have any competition. But I don't know if you'd be watching Dark yet. You'd be over somewhere else. Didn't he take your wrench away? Or did he give it, oh, he gave it back to you? He gave it back to you. I, I think he did. I believe he did. Um, but no, believe it or not, these streams get over 100 views after, after a week or so. So they people are watching them, which is my goal. My goal is to have streams that, are, that have actual replay value, not, not the instantaneous junk food craving. That's what we go for Wiggles channel for. I don't know why you're mad. I'm, I'm on the Grift Wiggles uh, uh, CG Grift tournament. I'm a grifter now. So you you can vote for me. And 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 keep me be have me beat Shane so I can continue being a grifter. Thank you. <laughs> My dog's a better artist than you. <laughs> oh, see, I can't tell you being facetious, William, but it doesn't matter because I'll take it either way. But um, uh, I don't know. Manga says comp pop, but this just looks like any other manga. No, well, I'm not a manga person. I'll be honest with you, uh, comp pop, because uh, I I I've been collecting the Fistula North Star hardcovers, and to me, they, they they seem distinctly different. And one thing I'm, I'm going to show you with the Handyman book is when you see the first few pages, which is a Twitter art that he uploaded, it's a lot different than the rest of the book, which is what was drawn specifically for the book. I don't want to be Shane. Here's the thing. I don't want to be Shane, Java. I want to be a, a, the bigger grifter than me. So, so see, see, that's the only tournament where I don't want to win. So if I lose, that means I win. That, that's the, the, the joke of all this. That's the major joke of all this is, is if I lose, then I win. And that's how I like it. I, I'd rather lose so that I can win. Does that make any sense? If it doesn't let me know, put it in the comments. I'll read it. I'll, we'll engage. Um, but uh, yeah, this is his earliest artwork that, that's available anywhere. Um, but yeah, he got criticized on Twitter. At, and, and I'm very familiar with that. He was, he was told he wasn't good enough. He needed heavier lines at least. And that was a big that was a big critique of him is that he did, his line work was very thin. I am not coping. I'm ha I will be happy if I lose that tournament. I will be very happy. You trust me. I I'll be like you know what you guys really love me. I'm really accept. I'm really important in the community. I am important, and I matter. That's the beauty of it. I matter. Oh yes. What the word balloons say? I don't read Japanese. Damn it. I'm not, I, what do you think I am? A, a, a legit critique? No. I just pull it up and I say, hey, this looks like his early stuff. And and I don't read Japanese. Of course, anybody reads Japanese, feel free to translate and I'll and I'll highlight it. But I don't know. I don't read Japanese. I'm not even gonna guess it because I'm gonna sound stupid now. But his stories early on were fast paced because they were uploaded on Twitter. So there was no uh five to ten page story arcs. They were usually be one or two page story arcs. So this was an example of, of one of his of his earlier stuff. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so we so let me show you this, just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Go back to my shitty USB camera. So earlier, for again, the first few pages is the the thin pencil line that he was criticized for. I know you can't really fully see it, but. Um, you can see like how thin the lines are and and some of the scratchiness of it. But then later on in the book, it gets very heavy. See? Because this is the artwork that he put specifically uh, for the book, for the Handyman book. So you can see that there's more detail. Although you see evidence of his crude lines still. But it's more cleaned up than his earlier work. And this is book one. So, um, And this is a fast-paced read because, like, again... You read one or two pages, and you get a story told in one or two pages, and then it moves to the next one or two pages. So, no, I am – okay, so here's the story, William. One day I'm Mexican. The next day I am Irish. I told this to Wiggle, but he didn't listen to me. So he didn't uh, he didn't uh, include that in the grip. So. Uh, Jabba's looking at Lazar trying to get you to vote for him and not chain. What? No, no. I want you to vote for Shane. Vote for Shane. He's a better grifter. I mean, artist than me. Please vote for Shane. 
He deserves it. He he's put his work into the community. He's earned his stripes. I want you to vote for Shane. Please. Please don't vote for me. I don't want to be I don't want to be upset and lose to Shane. No, I, I don't I don't want no, I want to lose to Shane. I absolutely do. See, there you go. Vote for him. There you go. No, it's not racist to vote for Shane. It is absolutely encouraged. Vote for him. I encourage you to vote for Shane. Heck, I'm gonna vote for Shane. Am I allowed to vote for against myself? I don't know. Oh, we may we may have a translation here from Curry Kirby. He says, the mirror tells the queen it will answer her. That is. Yeah, I I, I had that um uh, Snow White vibe there. The mirror, mirror on the wall, but maybe not. Um, over here. Let me see. As soon as I get it to translate to English. So on this tab here, this is an example of some of the earlier critiques from Japanese fans. I'm not sure if this was taken from like the Twitter, uh, the Twitter comments, but this is more or less how he was received. Now this is English, but this is translated from Japanese. So these are the actual Japanese uh, artists and, and and fans that critiqued his work. Let's see here. Can I? I'm mean, gonna enlarge it. Let's make it bigger. There we go. Oh, too big, too big. I know, I know, too big. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me scroll down to something more. Let's see here. Okay, so here's one person critiquing the fast paces of the, of the story. Um, let me see here, bro. Okay. One person here says, the picture is thin and difficult to read from place to place. So a critique of the pencil work. Again, they, he was critiqued for the thin lines of the pencils. Uh, scroll down more here. Let's see here. Um, okay, they love the other. They they love the story. Scroll down more. Uh, let's see here. Okay, spoilers. No, I'm going to avoid spoilers. Although I already showed the spoiler, so I guess if you pause it, you'll read the spoiler. Okay, let's see. Scroll down more. Nineties, yeah, this is like a nineties uh, nostalgic nineties love story. It was hinted at that that Saito might have been written by a woman because it reads like a story written by a woman because of the uh, the romance plot in it. Yeah, see, look, it's all about it being a silly picture, so uh, that was thrown out there. I almost never read short gag cartoons, but this is a habit. So again, a critique of the uh, the short paced style of the original pages of the book. Let's see here. Um, okay. da, 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 da. More Japanese. More Japanese. Here we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for translating. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Scroll down more. More praise for the storytelling. More praise for the world building. Uh, roughly crafted drama. The picture pattern and content, contents. Um Let's see here. Okay. There was a one there was one comment here. Okay, here we go. Strangely raw and real when it comes to the adventure party. Okay. I think it's more re regarding the storytelling, not so much the artwork. Uh let's see. There was one comment. There was a couple comments here that I saw. Yeah, there's only two pages total of comments, so and um you can always go back and read it if you want. You can pause it and read what Japanese uh, people have to say about his work, about his art style. So let's see here. And these these pages do disappear after time. So if at some point this page ever disappears, well, we're capturing it here live. So you guys can go back and read it for yourself what many of his Japanese uh, fans thought of his early work. And he, and he was engaging on Twitter. Like when he got the feedback, he would engage with the community. Well, they're, they're a community. See, we're a community, but he's a community. Okay, he's legit. We're not legit. We're just spurs on the internet. But um, his his Japanese community would engage with him, and he and he would get feedback from them and, and go back and forth in terms of how he would uh, improve his craft and, and get better and get better at his style and his artwork. Um, but at some point, like I said, after he got picked up by the manga company, which, which produces, um, 
Candyman series, he went back. He kind of went into recluse mode, as do most Japanese artists do. That same thing happened with the one when One Punch Man got picked up. He went recluse himself. He stopped engaging with people too. I think it's a thing in Japan. They they just don't engage with people after they become big, after they become uh, successful. And I think that's a natural course of action for artists. Honestly, for myself, that's something I've been thinking about too. Like, if, if ever get to a point where, if I ever get to a point where Road Warrior Drake ever becomes big, and people start becoming, um, they start patronizing the 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 IP in a bigger, 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 bigger sense than than I could ever anticipate. I might just go recluse myself. I might just go backwards and and shut off my DMs, limit my engagement, and just allow the community to stop it. Carol, stop it. Stop it, Carol. I'm trying to be legit here. Stop with the ducks. I'm trying to be legit. This is not time for racism. This is time for, for c- coming together as a community. Calm Pop has a question. Does it look like, like to you or am I missing something? Don't most 14 year old girls have stacks of sketchbooks full of ever increasingly mundane manga? Well, Calm Pop, you know, it's funny you said that because if you call my comment earlier, it's been alleged earlier that uh, Ishitomo's style could kind of a it reminded them of, of a woman's style and not because so much the style but the style mixed with the storytelling of the of the book so there was a short period where people thought it was really a female writing the story and drawing the pictures of course uh that turned out not to be the case but but it's funny you mentioned that it's that seems to be the the mindset of, of a lot of Japanese critics earlier on when he was doing his stories um early on for Twitter so, yeah, it's a very interesting uh, comment, to say the least. Go back here. As I continue to read the, the comment section. Kirby Kirby says, uh, right slide. Okay, right side. She asks, who is the most beautiful woman of all? Okay, that's the, the drawing of the mirror. Okay. So, yeah, so kind of like Snow White. It's exactly like Snow White. Or Inspire Snow White. Have you just read it? Oh, look at the pictures. So, I started reading it. And it is a very fast-paced story. Again, like it'll tell a story in one page and it'll end it on the second page. So if you ever read like the strips of of Charles Schultz's Peanuts, the um, Family Circle, Beetle Bailey, all those, it's that same kind of fast-pacedness, but in manga format. But that remains that way up until the middle of the book, and then the rest of the book it becomes a bit more um, traditional manga because the artwork at that point is done specifically. For the book. Compop says, oh, maybe the story is great. Didn't think of that. I just have comics for the eye candy. Well, if you want eye candy, and this is, uh, uh, you know, all this all this is subjective, but if you want eye candy, I'm not sure if if this book will be good for you because the eye candy, the art style is, it is crude. It's not traditional manga, so it is a crude art style. So I, I don't know if this is the kind of book you would look at for eye candy. But if you can appreciate and understand the artist's journey and how he got there and, and where he started and how he began, then yeah, I, I think it's a good it's a good um um piece of early hist- literature to look at and, and art history or comic history to be to be exact because a lot of this is again this is this is what what was considered to be the outlier in terms of, of art and manga and manga. Here's more examples of 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 Otomo's earlier work. This is not the stuff that he put up in his earlier Twitter. This is this is the more recent uh, uploads he put up. This is actually uploaded two weeks ago. Let's look at the translation here. Story of an elderly couple who found a demon child. So there you go. So example of his earlier stuff. And like I said, he 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 still is active on Twitter, but he do, he rarely replies to fans on there. He's very reclusive now. And the thing that hasn't changed with him is his backgrounds are very minimalistic. You can see there, for example, the hut in the uh, upper left here, the way it's crudely drawn. That's his art style. That's just the way he draws his, his stuff. Carol calls his community. <laughs> yes, welcome to our community. It's a wonderful place to be. Absolutely. William well, says, are most manga crude and drawn fast? No, um, absolutely not. I mean, you know, I guess to prove the point, William, since uh, you're asking, 
let me find a let me get the fist of the north star manga hold on let me, let me get uh and ex- show a page from there so you can see exactly what i'm referring to uh okay here we go this is a perfect example kempachiro right oh no this is a beautiful one i'll show this as an example here's a page from the fist of the north star okay there you go So you can see the heavy lines, the cross hatching, the the more um, refined posture and and the detail. The ink, the the line art exact itself is an example of, of what traditional manga is accepted in in Japan and even here in the West as well. So you see that as an example, and then you go back to this here, and you can see why uh, Ichitomo was widely criticized earlier on. So. Yeah, exactly. Hide it. Not necessarily true. It, it, that's exactly right. It's it's not the uh, what I showed with the fist of the North Star was one example of of manga manga art. Let's look at another popular manga. Let's see what's another popular one. Um, ooh, blame. You know, blame is another one. Let me show you blame. Blame manga. Although this is probably not a good example because it's so. Blame is like one of those like next level art pieces of artwork here, but this is another example of, of, of a modern manga. See this? You can see this compared to Ijitomo, and it's just two different worlds, two different styles, two different like levels. Uh, Combat is, I like Ichi's better than traditional. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I, I like Ichi's because of, of what it isn't. It's not traditional manga. But manga like this is awesome. It, it's very superior. It's very deep and dramatic. I think with Itchy, it goes back to the expressionism with him, the minimalist style, and that's that's the key with these artists that I that I highlight. It's all about minimalism. It's the minimalism that that sets them apart from the others. Whether it's Von Bodie, whether it's uh, uh, one. Or um, Lin, not not Lin Ward per se. It's his is like a different level altogether. But the talk one of the one of the things that's been uh, talked about in the last couple weeks in the indie circle has been 3D assets. Yes, with the dreaded 3D assets, absolutely dreaded. And manga has been known to use a lot of 3D assets in their back, especially in their backgrounds. But as you can see, Ichi doesn't use uh, much of it at all. He, he draws just strictly from the uh, from mind to paper, and it's very crude, but very expressionist. Very expressionist. This is his more of his work here, and uh, let, let's look up uh, some examples of his newer style. Let me find that over here. Examples of his newer work here. Let's see. Let me pull up. Uh, I believe this is his newer stuff, right? Let's see. Let me pull this up. I can't tell if this is some of his newer stuff. I, I want to say it is, but uh, I can't. Oh, let me let me check the translation here because this is more uh, from I think this is more from Handyman, right? Let's see here. Okay, so here's more more of his uh, later stuff. More here, and this is all straight from his account. This is all uh, Jitomo's Twitter account. He used to be active, engaging with people, but he just posts his work and just lets um, others comment. Although you don't see many comments from, from people on these threads when he posts his work. But yeah, it, it's it's the side of manga that most don't get to see. Yes, Hada, the dreaded 3D assets. Yes, totally. But that was an interesting conversation because 3D assets, all this talk about artists that that that, that use 3D assets, but that seems to be a thing in, in 
not just manga, but in American comics as well. Also, you know, tracing is a thing now. Not now. It's always been a thing. It's a thing now because we're, we're learning about it that we used to think that a lot of these artists trace uh, drew by memory, but no, they traced a lot of them. Even Ethan Van Skyver admitted to tracing. Yeah, he thought they, there was a video out that he did where he admitted to tracing, and that's what a lot of the artists in the industry do. They, they trace a lot of backgrounds. I think Mike Miller may have mentioned it at one time, and he just... Uh, he traced the background and adjusted it on his end uh, to make it more unique for the panel he was doing. I, I don't know which comic he was doing it for, but uh, but yeah, 3D assets, tracing, all that stuff is used in, in mainstream comics. So, uh, Willie Meth says, look how nice all those black and white look. Color would destroy them. I'm glad you said that, Willie Meth, because black and white, don't, don't sleep on black and white. A, a lot of books look great in black and white. Especially the manga. I think I prefer black and white manga over color manga because it, it brings out the the atmosphere better, much better than than color. Colors not often used in manga anyway. No, and, and I don't think they need it. The heavy emphasis of the ink is great. Oh look, we have the betrayer in the house. Dark gift says, "What's up? What's up?" I'm inspiring our community, Dark gift. They're here to be inspired and to and to look at. The crude artwork of one of our contemporaries who's currently enjoying great success, in spite not drawing traditional acceptable style manga. But as I show with one, uh, Kazutomo is also in that vein of artists who had his own style. He was critiqued over his style because they didn't appreciate the the thin pencil uh, work, the scratches that he did with his pencils. So, meh says Compop. Meh. Is it the Jewish mech? I think it's the Jewish mech, right? Mech. 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 So, um, let me look at this here. What's this? What's this? I had a couple pages highlighted, so I'm just checking. I think, okay, I think this is more, more recent stuff here. Let's see. Oh, this is, um. let's see. There was, I think this is a, uh, okay, I'm going to show you this. This is, a couple of excerpts from his handyman book, the one that I have, so you guys can see it clearly. So this is um, the stuff that he uploaded on Twitter that's included now in Handyman Volume 1. Okay, this, so you can see it up close, the, the line art. And this is not how his early stuff looked. The lady with the mirror, that's an example of how his early style looked. You can see that the line art is heavier here. And his pencil work is a little more cleaned up. He was told to clean it up prior to um, putting it up on Twitter. So, Although it's interesting to see. Okay, so here it's colored. But in the book itself, it's not colored. That page is not colored in the book. It's, it's actually fuzzy ears. So it might look better with color. But in the book, it's, it's in black and white. But it's a nice use of color by Kazutomo, I think, anyway. Uh, he is sketchy style, says Kirby Kirby. That's the best way to describe it. Sketchy. Very sketchy. And I can't believe... You, you, I don't know if you guys... Those of you that, that are artists, when you draw something in pencil, we get loose with the sketches, we get loose with the lines, do a little fuzzy shading here or there. But then when we ink over it, and you look at the pencil work behind it, it kind of adds a little little character to it. Sometimes I regret, sometimes, I regret when I do the pencil work on my drawings and then I add the ink over it. I regret getting rid of the pencils because I feel like the pencil sketches underneath the ink adds a little character to, to the artwork. Maybe I'll do a, a comic one day where I do that, where I just do the pencil sketches, then do the ink over and leave the pencils faded. Because I feel like it adds a lot of character and motion to the, to the art. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it one day. And then I'll see how it's received. Uh, oh, my good friend Jack Stafford is here. Ahoy, me, Mitch. Ahoy, Jack Stafford. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. It's good seeing you here. It's good having you here. It's good seeing the community coming out in force and enjoying a little inspiration before we become Spurgy again for the indie slum streams uh, coming tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Compop says, I prefer black and white and I like sketchy, but I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary. 
It seems like he's working hard to look like any other manga artist. That's an interesting point. It's interesting you said that. Because I'm not an avid manga reader. I've been collecting the Fist of the North Star books. I haven't read them yet, but I'm collecting them because when I get to start reading them, I want to have the whole series ready so when I start reading it. But perusing the artwork there, dude, it's a whole di world of difference between um, what's drawn there and what you see here. I mean, I'm not a manga connoisseur by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, Kazutomo's Tomo's work is clearly different from a lot of other manga artists. I don't think there's any question about it. It, it, there's definitely a difference in terms of um, the style, how the artwork uh, is re looks in style. And it does lend credence to the rumor that he was heavily criticized by uh, Japanese manga fans for his art style early on. So I believe that 100%. I, I totally believe that. So let's see. I think I found more, more, uh, more, more of his, uh, uh, let me scroll here. Yeah, I think, uh, I may have got, I may have found his, uh, let's see here. Okay. No, that I, I already looked at this. So, okay. Just going there. So, yeah, but I have to disagree with you though. I had to disagree. I think, I think there's definitely a difference in terms of, I, this is not, who lets you in here, JD Kirby? Who lets you in here? Who is this guy in here? Why are my wrenches sleeping and, 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 and slacking? What's wrong with you people? Why is JD Kirby being allowed to come here and, and de derail my stream? I'm trying to be important here, and he's coming in here and, and throwing this shit on here. You guys are sleeping on me. What's wrong with you? Hothead says, I've been collecting One Piece volumes myself. Hothead, let me ask you a question. Since since William F. is, um, not William F., Compop is chiming in. And giving his opinion. Do you, can you elaborate more? Because maybe I'm not doing a great job of it. Can you elaborate more on the differences in the art style and how Ishitomo's style can be seen as very crude compared to uh, acceptable acceptable manga? Maybe you can offer a uh, alternate take on that because um, I'm probably I'm probably not doing a great job emphasizing it. But I'm just a normie and I'm a Pac. So as a Pac, I'm not meant to be uh, sensible here. Oh, you let him in, Dark Gift. Of course you did. You're sabotaging my stream here. How dare you do that? How dare you sabotage my stream? I, I think I did uh, sci-fi. I think I left the back door open. And J.D. Kirby said, I'm going to come in here and insult him and derail the stream and make it all about me with my demonic night letters. This guy doesn't stop sending me night letters. J.D. Kirby doesn't. He just keeps doing it. Her opinion? Says Kampa. Whose opinion? Hmm. I don't know. Who's the her? No, no, no. I, I'm taking your wrench away, JD Kirby. I am taking your wrench. You are not. You are not going to be allowed to come and derail the stream with your demonic night letters. It's not happening ever. Well, happy Easter to you too. I appreciate that. Still demonic, but happy Easter. Uh, I'll hear okay. Hothead says Itchy style is pretty generic, but it's not too bad compared to the average manga, in my opinion. Hmm. Interesting. So very generic style, but not bad compared to the. So you're saying the average manga is not that good? See that this is this is interesting because I again I'm not like an, a manga connoisseur. I like what I like, but you're saying that this is this is the generic but average, and or no generic but better than the average. It's a very interesting state uh, statement there. Yes, Jack Stafford, treasure and, and cherish the pox, protect mode activated. You fuck with Jack Stafford, you're you're done. Did you hear that, J.D. Kirby? You fuck with Jack Stafford, you're done. You cannot cancel me. You will not send me your demonic night letters. You will be done. Totally. Kirby Kirby says he's using more heavy lines, line width in his manga pages. Yeah, yeah. I showed some examples of that. His ink style is definitely much more heavier later on in the book in volume one. Compop says his early stuff feels more alive than... Oh, you're the her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Comp. I miss... I miss I, I, Oh man, I'm gonna be canceled. <laughs> I'm gonna be canceled. I, I, I delivered the wrong pronouns to Comp Pop. I delivered the wrong pronouns. I'm, I'm, I'm officially a bigot, guys. I'm officially a bigot. Cancel me. Call Elon Musk. Tell him to cancel my, my Twitter profile because I misgendered Comp Pop. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I guess it's in, 
it's a I didn't know, Darky. What do you want me to tell you? I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? Like, I don't I I, I don't interact often with some of these with some of the new folks. I know Com Pop has been around a bit, but I didn't know she she was a she. I, I did not know. Now I know, and I'm I am an official bigot, so I, I've learned my lesson. I've totally learned my lesson. So um I okay, so scroll down more. Scroll down more to the the average Alaska stream is a three out of ten. Well, thank you, Jabba. That that is high praise coming from you. And my dogs thank you, by the way. My dogs thank you for, for your, your high praise. My streams that, that have got me about 20 new subs in the last month. I I, I am cancer. Uh yes, comp I have been forgiven. Comp pop has forgiven me for misgendering her. So I am forgiven by comp pop. Totally given forgiven. So William F says, are you having Oh, I'm not reading this comment. What's wrong with you? Are you are you serious? You gonna you gonna pull that shit here on the stream, William F? I'm here gi giving people some 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 beautiful dissertations on Kazutomo Ijitomo, and you're here delivering bigotry and racism. No needs for no less. The the day that our Lord resurrected from the dead. No, he died. He died on Good, good Friday. It's alleged he died on Good Friday. Although if you do the math, it was actually Thursday night. But let me not go there right now. That's a whole different. Stream all together, but no, the weekend that he resurrects, you're gonna bring in this demonic racism crap, William F. Shame on you, shame on you. Go home and eat lasagna and come back to me when you're correct again. Yes, JD Kirby, you're a bigot, a holistic bigot, totally. Uh, inches, what are you asking? Job, don't don't engage in Jabba. He's very Jabba's in his feelings right now, he's out to cancel me. Oh, speaking of which, hold on, speaking of which. I got this in the mail this week. Hold on. Since we're talking about, uh, you know, Japanese manga and, and, and Japan and all that stuff. So Ichitomo is a real Japanese artist, right? He's a real manga artist, right? But do you know who's not a real artist? The Kwa. The Kwa's not a real artist. The Kwa is a phony. He's a fake. He, he's, he, oh wait, I shouldn't have stopped staring screen. I don't care because this needs to be done. This needs to be shown. The Kwa is a, is a, is a complete fake and phony. Look what he sent me. He sent me this, this package in the mail. This demonic package. I'm get, I wanted to show this on stream because I want you guys to see what what is happening to our community. He he is eliminating people left and right. I'm afraid, but I'm gonna show this on stream because if anything happens, this is evidence of the contrary. So you're gonna see it in a few minutes. But before then, we're gonna continue talking about Ichitomo because he deserves our our complete attention. He is a, a true auteur of the highest order. Phantasmagorical's here. Hey, a Phantasmagorical. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Kirby Kirby says, uh, the page with the Japanese reviews, they talk about the fast pace of the story, but it's because it was made for Twitter posts. Yeah, I, I was telling the, uh, the the chat that, that the early pages in the book were uh, uploaded specifically to Twitter the same way that many uh, American artists or comic creators do with Webtoons, where they upload their stuff in Webtoons, build their following, and then they we, uh, we print those same pages as a physical book later on for actual money. Dark Gift says, I mean, we all knew, but the big red lips kind of gives it away. What? What are you talking about? Knew what? What, are, what is Dark Gift talking about? Why is he derailing my stream? Why are you guys in the chat letting people like Dark Gift and JD Kirby and Jabba the Cuck derail my streams? You guys are slacking on me. I want these guys timed out and put into a jail for a while. I'm a pock. That they're attacked on me is bigotry, just like I misgendered Karn Pop, and I'm as a, much of a bigot as these people are. I didn't, I guess it all comes in full circle. Hadad says average manga can be oversaturated with these generic styles, which is why I look at I look into the story rather than the artwork. Let's just say it's better than compared to Marvel. I'm glad you said that, Hothead. I'm glad you said that because I, I get crazy when when people on Twitter. And I get that they're comic fans, but they they talk about this, the the artwork. It's the emphasis is on the artwork, 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 artwork. And yes, artwork is important in comics because comics is a visual medium. But they're stuck on one style. There's like more than one style of art that can be appreciated. And and again, this goes back to why I started this series. And Ichitomo is another example of somebody that that produces artwork that yes, it was critiqued for his style, his choice in line work, and and how he chose to use his pencils. But it's, it's so expressive, and it still tells a very entertaining story. And and, and he's he's still found his success because of it. 
And I want other creators and comic artists to feel that, to see that and say, you know what, this is a, we can achieve this as well too. And, and you should experiment, refine yourself, but experiment. Yes, totally. Dark gift says car and pop avatar is a pick of women's lips. Oh, well, that, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. You, you're, you know what you're doing, right, Dark Gift? You're encouraging men on on the internet to talk to people on, on the internet because their avatars are female-inspired. That didn't work well for Ed Piscor. Is that too soon? Yeah, yeah, it is. I should I shouldn't do that. Um I shouldn't I should not say. I'm not dead. I'm alive. No, you are you are, sir. You are not our Lord, our Lord and Savior rose this weekend. He conquered sin, and you're you're bringing sin to my chat, and I won't allow it. I won't allow it. You leave my DMs alone, or I'll have you report it. Kirby Kirby says, Oh, I thought you were talking about a lot. I don't have lips in my profile, Kirby Kirby. Where do you see lips in my profile? This is a B citizen. That's not lips. And that is is you talking about stuff. You no, you are not no sir. You're you're a demented bunny rabbit sending DMs to me at night, and I don't and I will not allow it. I'm gonna report you to Elon, and he, Elon's gonna take care of it. Um William F said it's Wednesday. Thank you for the update on the calendar. Yes, it is Wednesday. It is absolutely Wednesday. What the hell is that? Well, you're referring to this box in my hand, right? This box right here. I'm gonna show it to you in a little while. I'm gonna do an unboxing here on the stream, and you're gonna see it. Whatever this demonic package the prop has sent me, and I'm sure it's gonna result in some kind of weaponry, and you'll probably never see me again after the stream. So I'm doing it live. So if anything happens, it's all documented. The FBI will collect it. And names will be will be uh, subpoenaed, and that'll be that. And that our community will be saved, and we can go back to enjoying comics the way we were meant to. Uh, quiet and gay. Phantasmagorical says, I am well, thanks, Jack, for asking. Did he disrespect community? This will not stand. No, it will not stand, Jack. You and me are going to go together to march against people like Quaff? He needs to be stopped because he's, he's derailed my stream. I'm going to show you a while, Java, and going to implicate you going to implicate you for fuck's sake don't let carol uh, that's your fault dark gift you, you i'm not responsible for carol because you allowed diddy kirby and java and whoever else came into my stream to derail it and to cause terror and mayhem you've allowed it so i'm gonna open it in a few william f in a few i'm gonna open it and then we will revel together i am not a tease i'm just protecting myself because if anything happens, it will be documented here um, on stream. You do not need to, to be sorry, Hot Ed. This wasn't your fault. You didn't, you didn't let it happen because it's not your fault. So don't be sorry. But you will take over the stream if anything happens to me, Hot Ed. I bequeath my YouTube empire to you. To you, I bequeath it. It will be yours. So if anything happens to me, you will carry the torch and you will save. You, Hot Ed, will save the community. I don't... The Hidden Ape... The hidden Eve, after I revealed the package that was sent to me in a demonic, demonically sent to me by the call. I'm adding all the bigots to my list. Yes, right, Jack Savage. You go on Twitter, open up a list, and put all these motherfuckers on the bigot list. Put them all on there. All of them. They need to go there. Don't put them on. Yeah, you don't want to be on Jack Savage's list. And that means you too, J.D. Kirby. You don't want to be on Jack Savage's list. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. So... William F. the pick it compels you. It compels you to go to his this page and back his book. So Curry Curry says, you're bringing hypno aids in here too? Ha ha ha, my mind. Yes. Back, back what is that book? Uh, Battle of the Kangs by Wiggle Wiggle. Battle of the Kangs. Endorsed by the hunt. Okay, let's see here. Scrolling down more. What is inside the package? Asked Curry Curry. What if inside the package is much love from Quaff? Then you will feel so bad to think it was harm. Nothing from the Quaff is 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 harmless. It's all harm, because it is. I judge him. Jack Stafford says only bigots would not watch the epic unboxing to come. You put them on a whoever's not watching the stream. Jack Stafford, put them on the list. Make sure that they're on the list because they're official bigots. Oh no. Oh no, Ed Pitt, no. <laughs> I don't know who this is. I don't know who this guy is. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, poor. Uh, 
Ed, Ed Pisker, let me tell you, Ed Pisker is a is a lesson. If you're a man, here's the lesson with Ed Pisker, and this actually was reiterated in one of Will Eisner's uh, stories. I'll talk about that later on. But uh, don't, if you don't know the female on the internet, don't talk to her. I don't I miss me with oh she's just, she's 16, she's 17, she's 21, she's 22. If you don't know her, don't talk to her. Don't talk to women on the internet. You know why? Because they're, they're only there for one purpose to set you up. This is why people like uh, Ijitomo have it right. Ijitomo or one, these artists, uh, being inclusive on the internet is a good thing because it keeps you out of trouble. It keeps you away from the pesky women that will collect your receipts, that collect your DMs, years worth of DMs, and then come out and meet to the fuck out of you. Holy fuck what they did with that with Ed Piscor. I mean, I don't feel bad for him. Don't get me wrong. Like, he, he's creepy. But still, like... Don't trust women on the internet. If you're an artist, for goodness sakes, don't don't be chasing after women on the internet. Don't do it. I've never met you before. I mean, a lot of time, obviously, I've never met you. How dare you? I don't know. I don't know what this man's talking about. Uh, you got to show up for the Wiggle Show. <laughs> oh, you're Java's good friend. Okay, that's who you are. Yes, yes, you are Java's good friend. <laughs> totally, absolutely. Uh, Phantasmagorical is doing the uh, hit and run, but thanks for stopping by, Phantasmagorical. I appreciate you stopping by. She says, have a good rest of your stream. Much love to all. Thank you for stopping by. Hit that like and subscribe button, by the way. Before you leave, hit the like button. If you're subscribed, great. Uh, if not subscribe, hit the like button too. The like button, the subscribe, the bell notification, please. There, there is the uh, graphic that shows you how to do it. This is how you hit the like and subscribe button. So by all means, please. Do that and help me grow and beat the shadow ban that YouTube has me on. Because the only way to get me to overcome the shadow ban is through engagement from the chat. They yeah, will go on the list. Put them all on the list, Jack. All of them. Every single one. And they report back to me by the end of the week so I can know who's on the list so I can cancel them. So all that ends up on Jack Stafford's list of bigotry is getting canceled. I'm gonna, I got a direct line to Elon Musk, so I will have you guys banned. Uh, Dargis says, see, that's Carol. Elasma says, we can't talk to you anymore. What have I said? What have I said that, Dargis? Why are you, why are you implicating me in your in your domestic squabble with Carol Car Colors? Don't do... Oh, wait, I see what you did there. Oh, I see what you did there. You know what? I take it back. I take it back. You know, Dargis, you're right. I take it back. Don't talk to her no more because she will... She <laughs> then again, she could be weaponized. She could be utilized for. I'm, I'm. I mean, don't talk to her. Just don't. Just don't do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, oh no. Now, now we got King and Ed Piscor talking to each other. I didn't call nobody. Don't implicate me in shit, please. <laughs> Women don't like artists, though. Uh, no, I didn't. I can tell you for a fact that's not true. They love the artists. So we, we, we are definitely targeted by some of the hot ladies. So, um, if you don't know them, don't talk to them. But if you meet them in person and you can have a drink with them or more, by all means, do it. Uh, wait, where are you going? You're streaming the start for another hour. Where are you going? Oh, later, Fanta. Okay. I was about to say, like, you're, you're already abandoning me and it's not even an hour until you stream? What's wrong with you? I engage with you. I hit the like button. I harass the trolls. I get trolled. You can't stay around for my stream? That's hurtful. Plus, I'm doing an unboxing in a few minutes and you're going to leave me? But you're not. It was my... my, my uh, Erroneous reading, so you did good there. So yes, Job of the Cut says, uh, "Who is Ed Pisco and why is he friends with Vic King and Vito?" Oh, I, you'll you'll have to read a uh, check JD's uh, video about Ed Pisco. Look at the actually just type in cartoons cave him on YouTube and you'll you'll see the recent stuff and you'll understand what it's about. So you've offended Carol Colors, Dark Gift. You've offended Carol Colors. No, you're not Carol. You are not 100 percent Team Quap. You know what, Jack Stafford, put Carol Carol on the bigotry list right now. Put her on the bigotry list. I want her there now on the bigotry list. Uh, Darkness, I'm not leaving. I was saying bye to Fanta, but my autofill choices popped up and I clicked Elasma instead of Fanta. So Fanta became me. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like that. So I, 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 no, I really don't know how to feel about that. I think it's, I think it's a shitty thing to do to a puck in this community. 
You got you got to revere and protect me. And that means not getting my name mixed up with a with a woman of all people. Fuck. That's be that's that's so treacherous. So treacherous. Let me scroll down more. Comp pop here. Uh do yourself a huge favor. Google monograph by Chris Ware. Let me check that for a second. If it's relevant to the stream I showed, if it's not, maybe I'll put it in for another another stream. Mono Chris Ware. I'm typing this with a big box right in front of me. So monographic Chris Ware. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. You know, oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Believe it or not, Comp Pop, I had Chris Ware on my list. I'm just looking at this. Right. Yeah, I had him on my list. So I'm actually going to cover this guy soon. So, yeah, I'm going to look into it and add to my library of books. My library of books that includes Cheech Wizard Volume 1 by Bon Bodhi, and then, of course, uh, Handman Volume 1 by Ichitomo. So I do try to collect the books of the artists that I highlight because it's a good um, source of inspiration for when I do my book, techniques that they use to tell their story visually. And then I look at the critiques of, the, of their peers and their contemporaries to see how it's been received. And then I look at how I've been received and see where I can improve and 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 uh, really step up my game. Darko D13, I haven't seen Darko in a minute on my stream. Welcome back. Everyone asks why is Jabba is a cuck, but no one asks who cucked him. That's a good question. I just I just assume because being cuck is the natural state for Jabba that I I just assume that uh, it was easy to cuck him. But then he's been on a harassment streak lately, so I, I I haven't been able to really sit down and ask myself who cucked Jabba. Maybe it was Hothead who cucked him or, or Dark Gift. No, oh, Malin cucked him. Ah. That's what happened. Malin cut Java. I think it was pretty obvious. Myself. Hothead says, uh, doesn't matter. Is a cuck more the, more the same? Yes. Oh, thank you, Jack Tavern. He's officially putting Carol Colors on the bigotry list. Carol, you are on the list, and you will stay on that list until it's deemed worthy that you can leave the list. Um, Elombre making a rare appearance. Stealing Dark Gifts or plagiarizing Dark Gifts greeting. Says what's up, what's up? Highlighting this, uh, uh, what does that mean, by the way? Is that is that you throwing tables? I think that's what it says. Hail El Hombre, hail, hail, hail. Uh, why is Ed Pisco and Vic in the chat? Weird. I don't know, I didn't. As soon as you came in, JD Kirby, all the weirdos started coming in. Maybe you let them in because you are. A, a, you, hey, Jack Stafford, can you confirm if JD Kirby's on the list? I need, I need confirmation that JD Kirby's on the bigotry list. With Carol Colors. Can you please do that? Comp Pop is, if you like minimalist black and white art, you'll love it. That's of uh, Chris Wares, right? That's what you're referring to. Yeah, he's on my list. Um a lot of actually a lot of Chris Ware stuff reminds me of some of it. Reminds me of, of Howard Finster. But uh um let's see. And then Hodak plagiarizing Carol Colors earlier graphic. She says, that's fine, Jack. I know if you don't do what he says, he'll have a tantrum. It's okay. I am not having a tantrum. I am I, I am just bringing order to this community. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Compact, I gave his name to last week. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I put his name on there, and I just totally forgot. Because what happens is when I pick a name that I do for the week, I, I do my research on that particular name. So I forget who's on that list until I go back and do that research again. Um, but yeah, Chris is definitely on there. So I'll be looking at his stuff uh, sometime soon. And Lombre says, could you please un unblock Mr. Yana Fui on Twitter? No, I encourage him to keep Yana Fui blocked. I encourage it. It needs to happen. Totally. Scrolling down more. Let's scroll down for some more comments. Uh, let's see here. Job is going there. Have a great night, Job. You're going to miss what the quad sent me. You're gonna miss what the quaff sent me, and I'm glad because one less person, one less person to to bring the terror to my to my beautiful space that I've created for myself. So thank you, thank you for doing that. And whatever you do, don't put me on another tab in silence. Don't do it. No, Jag works for me, JD Kirby. He works for me. So if I say he needs to put you 
on the bigotry list, that's where you're going on the bigotry list. And that's going to be your new place. Oh, no, Kirby Kirby. Oh, no, not Kirby Kirby. Oh, he disappointed me. He's on the list, too. Uh, yeah, you're going to be on the bigotry list, according to Jack Stafford. You you did something bigoted, so now you're going there. That's where you belong. So, I think I'm caught up with the chat. No, he can't put me in the list because I helped create the list. It's not how that works, uh, William F. That's not how that works. See, you guys better revere these moments. You better cherish these moments because one day when B Citizen Road Warrior Drake, not B Citizen Road Warrior Drake, when Road Warrior Drake in general, when the books become popular and they're selling in mass volumes, I'm going to do what, what Iji Tomo does and just be reclusive. And just produce books behind the scenes, put out a Twitter video or a YouTube video every now and then. And I won't engage as much because it'll probably be a more peaceful life for me after that. Because the thing that I, I, I totally relate to these Japanese manga artists is it's a lot of work putting together artwork and spending time uh, fixing your mistakes, improving your craft, learning the skills and the techniques to become better visual storytellers. It's a lot of work doing that. And that requires time away from um, just people in general, especially online and Twitter, where everybody's got everybody's got bone to pick. Everybody's got arguing. You know, you, Doug Sample will put a video up, and people will start commenting on going backwards in time to when he left CG, and and, and then old wounds get reopened. All the three D asset argument, my tracing argument, my books are late argument. Everything just starts now becoming battlefield or war zone and i made a conscious effort not to infest a lot of that shit in my timeline because when people go into my profile i want them to see art or that's my art or artwork from people that i'm promoting or streams of people that i'm promoting i want them to see like there there is a system at play there artwork my ip road warrior drake i just put up some sketches that i did of pumpkin war patch um just some sketches I took out. I took out a pen and just started just doodling a little bit, just to work on posture and 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 body proportions. And I just put it up there because I want people to see it, to see the progression, to see that I'm within brand, you know, like how Itchy does with his uh on his Twitter, how he's putting his stuff on Twitter and how he's uh sharing his artwork. Like this, for example, his examples of his color, which I like. I like the watercolor appearance. Watercolor is a very underrated medium in in comics, but it looks good on in, in manga format. Very, very underrated. I, I like this a lot. But you can see examples of his later style. This his line work is definitely more tighter, but he still maintains. The, uh, the aesthetics of his usual style. So it's a lot neater, but it's definitely more complex. His backgrounds are still minimalist, though. That seems to be his trademark. It's the minimalist background. Which works if... Um, hold on, let me, let me open it. It works if, you know, the emphasis is on the characters themselves. You just need, you just need enough detail and information in the background to give you the impression of where they're at, location-wise. So you can tell they're in a forest somewhere. So, yeah, just, just very minimalist information to um, tell the story. Here's more pieces of his uh, work. Here's the, uh, the watercolor. This one's nice here. I like this one a lot. Let me uh, open up the page here so you can see it in its entirety. Be beautiful line work, beautiful colors, all of it. Uh, let's see. Um, good. Carol Colors uh, is informing us that uh, someone else is on the list. I'm not following the the chat as much, but I, I do try my best to read the chat as much as I can. Jack Saffer says, I'm on the list because Hypno Ape. Says so. Put him on the list. No, Jack, put him no ape on the list. He's a bigot too. Because he makes everybody his victim. He he implores people to back some book that's out there. What battle the kangs? Um 
Yeah. So, so, so this is the, the, the gay ops. You watch a clip and you end up on the bigotry list. Love is a battlefield. It's another one break. I support your Twitter or all the time. Yeah, you know how you do it, Jenny Kirby, but with your sick, uh, twisted, evil night letters. When are you going to stop sending me night letters? Am I going to get up in the morning and find another night letter in my DM? I'm allowed, uh, JD Kirby. I'm allowed. I'm important. Let me be. Let me be. Scroll down more. Darkin says, sorry. Was on the phone, Ella Bray. Why do you want to me to unblock him? Oh, that's a useless conversation that has nothing to do with what I'm offering. That's okay. Jack said, the list was delivered by divine inspiration and the last Mets whims. We'll see. Jack, we'll see and we will win. Don't let them bully you. I want some straight. Yeah, for once, Ella Bray, I agree. I want some straight ops for once. Can we have a straight op in this community talk for once? I'm done with the gay ops. Let's do a straight op. For once. For once. No, they're not love letters, Honda. These are night letters. He's sending me some wickedness overnight. My DMs are flooded with this with, with this evil stuff. It's totally evil. So I, I don't I don't I want him to stop. I want him to stop. Um Oh, I'm sorry. He, he needs just to be kind to me. And uh, I'm just highlighting this because um, because it was, it was very brought up in chat. So I'll just bring it up again here so that it is documented. Darkest official statement and why he's not unblocking Yana Fui. So I'll be still hot. That's great. So, yeah. But as, as I was saying before, I, I will... Probably go the way of Iji Tomo. I think it's a good route to take. But I, I won't do it yet. I, I want to continue engaging with you guys and allowing the hatred and the racism that you perpetrate on me. This is nice. Until the time comes when you will no longer have me to bully me and harass me and and marginalize me. Oh, wait. We got somebody crying here. Let's see. What is this person saying? Is a friend who came to help a typo. Oh. So a friend who came to help a typo. Let's see. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of... Uh... I'll have to actually sit back one day and just re -re read the whole thing and just see what's being said, but I don't know. Um, time him out with these duck emojis. This is not the stream for that. I won't allow it. I will not allow it. Is this true about Craven the Hunter? Is he going to get his powers from uh, Lion's Blood? I mean, why does... I, I, I guess they got some similar success with Venom, but these these Elseworlds Spider-Man movies that Sony's producing, stop. Just stop. I mean, who's going to watch a Craven movie without Spider-Man? This is... No one's going to watch it. It's 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 going to... It's DOA. I know why they're doing it, because they want to keep their stupid li Spider-Man license, but you gotta think of a better way to do it than putting these off-world uh, villain-only Spider-Man movies. Just stop it. It's it's stupid, especially the way they handle Venom in the uh, Spider-Man No Way Home movie. It's like all that build up for nothing. It, it's stupid. Uh, combat says, I love Japanese packaging design, kawaii stuff, traditional Japanese art, Ghibli, fairy tale fashion, stationery, ink, but manga. So you draw the line at, at manga. What about kaiju? You like kaiju? I like kaiju. Do you like uh do you like kaiju? You like a little Godzilla? I like Godzilla. But yeah, like uh King Goji. This is the King Goji. Oh, the 1955 Angulus. And I did a great job with this one. I love this this design here. I like kaiju. Real kaiju. Not the uh, although the Pacific Rim kaiju is not bad, but when I think of kaiju, I think of Japanese monsters, specifically Godzilla, and yes, Gamera. So uh, that's what I think of kaiju when I hear kaiju. So, okay. Carol is on the list, right? Jack Stafford. I want you to take a note of this because she's already on her shit again. She's on her shit again. So I highlighted it. Do I like manga? Oh, come on, Clown Pop. Come on. You were doing so good. You were doing so great up until this. Why? 
Why was this necessary? There was no need for that. We were doing good, Carol. I mean, Comp Pop. I'm sorry, I called you Carol. I, for that, I deserve to be canceled. For that, I deserve cancellation. So you're right. I was wrong for that. Never should have called you that. So I guess, yeah, I deserve it. I deserve it. Uh, so we're going to be Craven's movie. So uh, some line blood drops into Craven's wound. And that's how he comes to hunt it? Is, hmm. I don't know. It's so stupid. So stupid. No, I'm not starting a war with Hidden Elite. I am just, I'm, as long as, oh, well, he's on the bigotry list. So you know what? Maybe I did start a war. Maybe I did. You know what? Yeah, fuck him. He's Jack Stafford put him on the bigotry list, so he deserves to be there. I trust Jack Stafford's judgment. So yes, there is now enmity between me and Hypno Ape. Absolutely. Because I don't believe in Black Lives Matter. I don't believe in BLM. So yes, uh Hypno Ape belongs in the bigotry list. 100%. Um oh wait, they did a Morbius movie, didn't they? I know a lot of people like Venom. But I don't know. I don't know anyone that like Morbius. So you're the first person, El Hombre. By the way, Jack Stafford is El Hombre on the on the bigotry list because he just admitted to liking the Morbius movie. So I'm wondering if he's on the bigotry list. Can you confirm? He may not be, but still, we need to get that list grow. You got a quota to me, Jack. So make sure that bigotry list grows by tonight because that quota has to be met. Who will watch Venom without Spider Man? I don't. I, I I can't do it. I know the Venom Venom looks great in the movie, but without Spider Man and taking that Spider Man connection away. It just seems pointless. I got I, and then his cameo in, in No Way Home was a waste. The build up to that cameo was a waste. It's stupid. Uh, is Wiggle on the on the list, Jack Stafford, or is it, is it too soon? I mean, no, because he deserves to be on the list too for the, for this, for what he did here. I, I keep keep it up, Carol. Keep it up. I see why Dark Gift has has the fatwa on you. I see why, because of this bullshit you're putting right now. Complete fatwa on Carol Colors. Totally. Okay, Jack Stafford has an update. He says, on the list, out of Pangea, which is Wiggle, Hypno Ape, yep. He has Hypno, he has, he has bigot-like tendencies according to Pox. Yes, that is why he's on the list. Because of what he does to the Pox, like myself. Ever see the host? Uh, did I see the host? No, I haven't seen the host yet. I don't think I have. No, I have not. It's on my list of movies to eventually see. Um, but yeah, I read about it. I was like, "Well, wow, that's an interesting monster movie." So I see why they called the host the host. So I do have to, I do have to watch it at some point. Uh, Wiggle is lamenting uh, Hypno Ape on the list. Yes, yes. Uh, Darkest says, "I swear, if Wiggle calls another seating, I will boycott." So the seating is complete. Friday begins the tournament. And by the way, I want you guys to vote for Shane. Vote for Shane so that I can lose the, the, the tournament. I don't want to win the first round. So we all know Shane's a bigger grifter than me. So please, vote for Shane. Better artist than me. Has more books on his plate than me. But he's a grifter. So please vote for Shane. Shane, who you ask? Why Shane Davis, the uh, the husband of Yancey Lynn? Please vote for him. Uh... You, Hothead says, I misgendered comp pop. It's because of the lips. I did not know, Hothead. I swear I did not have uh, uh, inappropriate relations with comp pop. I didn't know she was a woman. Now I know. Why are you acting out, Alasma? I am not acting out, William F. I am, I am bringing to attention the crises infecting our community. You are just here to listen to my rants because you need to. You are a member of... You are a member of this community. I'm an esteemed hierarchy here, and you have to hear me out because my voice matters. I'm important, and it needs to happen. Um, Craven has sick abs, something for the ladies. I got to work on my app game, for sure. Oh, Car Carol's taunting you, Jack. So much so that she's referred to herself in the second person. Wow. That's pretty narcissistic, Carol. Holy shit. She's a narcissist. She refers to herself in a second person and demanding that Jack put her on the list twice. Wow. You get him, Jack. We don't tolerate bigots here, especially apes. Bigots and apes don't belong here in this community. It's community, Jack, not community. They're different, different sector. We are in the sector known as the community. Uh, Carol says, don't make me send you a horse head, too. 
I have a video for that, but I didn't upload it, but I should upload it. So how do we vote for our favorites? Favorites, Grifter. You're, you have to ask Wiggle because I know, Jack, it, Wiggle's bigotry is definitely shocking. It's absolutely shocking. I, I I have no words for it. I'm stunned. I'm purely hurt and stunned by Wiggle's bigotry and that stupid damn ape of his. Pure bigotry. Absolute bigotries. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no, look who he's here. It's Manticore. He's making an appearance here. Well, greetings, Manticore. We're talking about Ijitomo Kazutomo, the artist for Handyman, Saitu, in another world. And we did a brief uh, overview of his Twitter um, engagement where he uploaded the first few pages of his book on Twitter. The book was initially a Twitter-only book before he got picked up by a manga company and then republished those same stories with new artwork later on to bring out the editions of Handyman that's currently out right now, among other things. Uh, not on the list, he says. Not on the list. Uh, just checking my uh, quick, quick Twitter DMs here. Okay, we are clear. Okay, the host of the modern day Godzilla. Watch it, Peanut. Don't call me. Come on, you were doing so good. You were doing so good. You didn't have to resort to name calling and slander and bigotry, but you did. I'll watch the host. Wait, I could have sworn I saw the host. I don't know why, but I, I feel like I've seen the host. Why why is that my drawing a blank? Shit, I, I did I see the host? I gotta check. I, I, I was familiar with the movie and the story behind it, but for some reason I can't tell if I've seen it or not. I definitely have to watch it though. I know I know it involves a disease and and you know viruses and giant monster, uh, the host of the virus. Very intriguing stuff. Korea is very intriguing movie. There was that movie they did about um zombies on a train. What was that stupid movie? That's it wasn't a stupid movie. It was a good movie. But what was it? Night train to something. Train to uh, uh Busan. Let me see. Is it? Was, it was called uh what the heck was that movie? That horror movie with zombies. Train to Busan. Okay, yes. Train to Busan. That's a the great horror movie. You got you check. I definitely recommend it. I know we're talking Koreans and, and Japanese manga that doesn't that doesn't um jive well because according to the Japanese, they caused the great Kyoto earthquake earthquake of 1923. The Koreans did that, so um, we banish all Korean. The clue the qual. No, I am not winning the first round. I, I won't allow it, Wiggle. I will not allow it. I am not winning the first round. I, I am voting for Shane Davis, and I want everybody in the chat to vote for Shane Davis this Friday on Wiggle's channel. Vote for Shane Davis to, to outgrift me. He deserves it. He, he's earned his stripes. I'm still a cub in this game, so I am not a grifter yet. I'm still... My 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 cup fur has not outgrown itself yet. Manticore with his evil emojis. I want to lose, Olombre. But once I want to lose, I want to lose. Vote for Shane and vote for him often. What is the seeding? Well, Wiggles channel did the Wiggles doing the 2024 CG Grifter of the Year. And the and the winner will be the griftiest of the grifts. In all CG, and will get it. They will get a special prize, courtesy of Wiggle. Tune into the Pangea channel this Friday to see the beginning of the tournament. Vote for Shane. Don't vote for me. Hail the chat, says Manticore. I am esteemed Manticore. I'm very esteemed. I'm a wonderful, beautiful Pac. My voice matters. I'm important. I'm very important. Uh, don't be sorry about your accent, Jack. Your accent is beautiful. You're pure white. It's a beautiful accent. Don't anybody tell you otherwise. I give you the POC seal of approval. This chat will vote. This chat will vote for each matchup. Yes. Vote for Shane. Vote often for Shane. Uh, William F is quitting for the night. Hail the hypno ape, he says. Hail. I am not a peanut head, Manticore. 
I'm a human being. I, I have rights. I'm very esteemed here. I matter. That hand on that cover. Sheesh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's talk about that hand for a second. Okay, so um, so yeah, so you can see where Ijitomo's art style can be very divisive. Um, what's another word to use? Polarizing. Okay, that's a, that's a word. You can see how his art style can be polarizing here. And you know what's funny, Comp Pop, is I've been practicing my, my hand style this week. So I've been practicing techniques to draw hands and, and the relationship between fingers uh, and knuckles and where the thumb aligns. So I've been practicing hand styles. And yeah, this, this is a kind of a weird way to draw a hand. So, But yeah, Manico, that's my point of the series, is to show how an artist from all beginnings can need the big things. Exactly. I started with one, Lorenz Von Bodie, Lynn Ward, Tomo, um, Howard Finster. Now we're doing uh, Kazutomo Ijitomo. But still, like, I can see how this can be very polarizing. I wonder, uh, hmm. See, again, I'm all for style. I'm a big proponent of style. But I think that hand, like he probably should have fixed that hand a little bit. At least with the bottom, where the, uh, where the palm is. He could have erased those lines. And I, I, would, I would have been okay with the rest of the hand. But yeah, that's very, that is pretty polarizing. That is polarizing. So, uh, uh, damn it, Dark Panther, uh, Jack, he's on the list, right? He's on the list, right, Jack? Put him on the list. Put him on the top of the list. Just for that shit. You know why? Because he knows better. He knows better than to do those stupid damn peanut emojis. He knows absolutely better, Jack. I want him on the list. Don't laugh, man. Of course, this is serious. Dark Gator violated our trust here. He's dividing our community. Don't laugh. We have to spare and preserve our community. Come up to the magic word. It was a knee jerk reaction. It's not my fault. Dark, if you know better, you are the proprietor of knowledge in, in this community. You slipped, therefore you have to pay. Jack, I want confirmation that Dark Gift is at the top of that list. He will pay mightily tonight. I will see to it. A uh, that says the host is that semi terrible parasite movie with a little girl getting eaten. Spoiler alert, hothead. Spoiler alert. Ooh, <laughs> if you didn't see the movie, you just got the shit spoiled out of that movie. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still gonna watch it though. I'm still gonna watch it. Mm. Ah, no, we go on to join Hypnoid on the bigotry list. I I know Carol. I found it on Google. Train to Busan. I haven't seen that movie in a little bit, but uh. It was a good movie. Train to Busan is a very good horror movie in Korea. So yeah, I I, uh, I recommend it for sure. If you like zombie movies, if you like a good okay, if you like a good family drama with horror, with zombies and gore, Night Train uh, Train to Busan is a very good movie. So I do recommend it. Stop it, man of horror. Stop it. I'm trying to be serious here. I'm trying to be relevant. See, Jack, you caught that right? You caught that right, Jack? You caught that. A vote for peanut is a vote for integrity. No, you're on the list now. Now you're a bigot. So your opinion doesn't matter. You are a bigot. Jack, I want confirmation that Manicor is on the list now. He's a bigot, along with Dark Gift, Hidden Oib, and Carol Colors. Please confirm. I want confirmation of that. You have crowdfunded the book five times. Um, four. It's four, Dark Gift. Four. Uh, from my comic, Indiegogo, Kickstarter, and now Crowdfunder. That's four. And all because. Indiegogo couldn't get his shit together. So that's why I'm doing the fourth crowd hunter. Um Grifter of the Year, for fuck's sake. Get, uh, well, <laughs> I'm that definitely ain't me. So uh Kirby Kirby says those that last show makes me want to read those Grift books. Hey, you know what? Uh you're probably seeing the genius behind these type of streams. More emphasis on the books and the characters and less on the uh retards producing these books. You says Java. Oh, it's JD Kirby. I can't tell if it's JD Kirby or Java. You're both one of the same. You are a winner. You will win. Do you know how I will win? I will win by losing. That's how I win. No, don't vote for me, JD Kirby. Vote for well, you know what? You're in the list, so it doesn't matter. But you should vote for Shane. He's a bigger grip than me. Because I say so. I absolutely say so. The lore is amazing. Yeah, the, uh, there's a lot of lore there. Very amazing lore. Uh Dark Yet uh, with his pillow talk says, That's what I said last night, Wiggle. I don't think EBS has cropped from the blood honey that many times. Dark Gift, I am exploring my market. 
I am exploring the frontier. I'm out on the mission field. There is a, a mission field of comic book fans who have not been exposed to Road Warrior Drake. What is Road Warrior Drake? Why, it's this book right here. Beast Citizen Road Warrior Drake, the second book in the Road Warrior Drake saga. It's going to be a trilogy of, of, cart, of, of graphic novels. Um, this is the second in the trilogy with the uh, cover done by Felsbug and Lidl and uh, the line art, interior text done by yours truly, including in this campaign is the first book as well, and the uh, Ashcan Pumpkin War Patch Volume 1, which is a little bit of cheesecake thrown in there, nice little cat fight there. So you can get all these books in the crowdfunder. What's the link to the crowdfunder? All you got to know, folks, is roadwarriordrake.com. Roadwarriordrake.com. That's the URL right there. Roadwarriordrake.com. That's all you need to know for the crowdfunder. Uh, if you didn't get, if you didn't back the book, this is a chance to do it. I'm currently in the drawing process right now of the book. I've uh, been practicing a lot of line art this week. I've been practicing hand drawing and more posture. So you're going to get a, a very good looking, and I think looking in terms of its dynamic expressionism. If you find Iggy Tumble's work uh, pretty good, if you if you like what Von Bodie has done, you'll like my stuff. If you're enjoying the series that I've been showing here with the art styles of these other um, of these other uh, other good night of these other create uh, other books by these established creators, then you'll you will love Road Warrior Drake and what I'm producing. I'm in that same vein, and I'm only getting better, guys. I'm getting better. My if you enjoyed the first book, you're gonna love this book. I, I, I will bet my life savings that if you like the first book, you will love Beast Citizen Road Warrior Drake. If you're on the fence with Street Champion Road Warrior Drake, you're going to like Beast Citizen Road Warrior Drake. That is my motherfucking guarantee. Take it to the bank. Jack Savage says, Manico has been on the list for about two metric months. Now he gets an asterisk. Put that asterisk off him, Jack Stafford. Put it on him. See, guys, don't fuck with me because Jack Stafford's on your ass like Velcro. He's got you. Mess with me. You, you're gonna make Jack Stafford make he he'll put asterisks, periods, parentheses, all that's going on in your record. All of it. Thank you. I do fill for my books. I've been put a lot of books. In my first campaign, I've been filled the, the graphic novel. I had an ash can, I had a coloring book. That's three books that I fulfilled in my last campaign. Three books in one. This campaign coming up is gonna be two more books I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fulfill. So in just two campaigns, I have five books in the Road Warrior Drake saga. Two main ones and side stories that complete the uh, that are completing the overall uh, world building and universe that that Road Warrior Drake occupies. So I have a plan with Road Warrior Drake for sure. Her palm is huge, says um, Hothead. Oh yeah, you're talking about um this right here. Yeah, that's a uh, yeah that that is a that I don't know about that. I, okay, so that's probably a stylistic choice, but that's one of those stylistic choices that I'm like, yeah, that. You you could have fixed that, I think. You could have fixed that. Takes a bow, says Manticore. JD Kirby says, Don't let Alas Matt down. Well, no, vote for Shane. Don't vote for me, vote for Shane. My head is right. I fulfill my books. <laughs> I keep releasing the same book over. That is not true, Wiggle. That is not true. I have I've only for, released in the first campaign three books. And this one, two more books. So a total of five books. That I will be unleashing onto the market with the Road Warrior Drake label on it. And I had to do it because I got to keep the trademark alive. So, by the way, I haven't got my, my updated trademark yet. The trademark seal should be coming in the middle soon. And when it does, I will show it to you on stream because um, trademarking is a thing. It is absolutely a thing. Which is worse? Okay. See, Carol, I own 100% of my, my stuff, not 40%. Vote for Shane, says Wiggle. Vote for Shane. Yes, man of corn. Shut up, Carol. Stop being a racist. Revere and cherish me. 100%. Is that Yahira Chan? I, I don't know what that means, comp. You gotta have to, you're going to have to enlighten me on this. Is that the, you mean the character? Because this is still part of Handyman here. So, yeah, that might be the character, Yahira. I think that's who you're referring to. Uh, let's see. Winning. Shane will never beat Alazmat. No, I, I want him to beat me. See, I want Shane to beat me, JD. I am on Team Shane. I want Shane to win the Grifter first round tournament. I am Team team Shane all the way. Ada says, at least it's not three years late. No, my books are never years late. My books would be, at, at best, no, at worst, 
my books will be just a few months late at worst, but I will be updating my stuff monthly and you will see progression of my book. And I will take criticism from the community. Stop with this, Wiggle. Stop it. Fucking stop it now. Get the monkey bucket. Yeah, I'm going to have to build a digital wall and get these bigots up against it, Jack Safford, so that you and me can line up our digital weapons and, and do away with them because they are a an infestation on our community. Kirby Kirby says, this chat's turning again. Kirby Kirby, believe it or not, this is a thing. They do this to me a lot. My ch my streams are the only stream where the chat comes in and they turn against me. And they become my enemy. They do this all the time. Stop that, Cal. I don't care if you don't like it. Stop flipping tables. Be an adult. Stop being a bigot and being an adult. Jack Never says, uh, Anthony, top of the list. Thank you. He's confirmed it. Yeah, you're on top of the list, Anthony. You should know better. So I told Jack to put you on top of the list. That's where you belong. On top of the list. Top bigot of, of this community. No, hothead. No, hothead. You were, you were the chosen one. Huh? Yeah, I, I lost the chat for sure. Kirby says, Kirby, Kirby, why am I on the list when I was just repeating what Dark Gift said? He said that I, meaning Elasma, had big red lips. Well, let, let us give Kirby Kirby a reprieve, Jack Stafford. Let us remove him because he hasn't succumbed to the uh, bad habit of the chat with their raising them. Let's so uh, you call Wiggle Dark Gift. Ha 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 ha. They are one of the same, JD Kirby. They're one of the same. They both they both simultaneously gave up the CG Slums tag. So they're both one of the same. Oh, I see why. Because Kirby Kirby is hanging out with people. Okay, so if you hang out with people on the list, then yeah, you're guilty by association. So okay, that's a good point, Jack Stafford. So guilt by association is law. With Jack Tavern's bigotry list. So if you hang out with anybody in the list, you are a bigot and you will be on the list. So yes. Before you get mad, yes, I know you are. That's why I shouted you out. You, you are my biggest fan. And yes, I, I will do right by you because um you, your word does have value in this stream. So totally 100%. 100%. No, if you're with Mandacore, you're not a cool kid. You don't want to be on the same list with Mandacore. He's not a cool kid. Don't listen to him, Kirby Kirby. He'll sell you down on, on, on a bad path, and then you'll be doing graffiti for truants. So don't do it. Darkest says, me and Wiggle are the same are the same now. See, I confirmed it. Both the same person. They're both the same person. So that means if you see Wiggle with a drink, he got a free drink from a troon. So confirmed. List of association is real. List by association. Yes. We we endorse guilt by association here. So don't let me catch you hanging with bigots. If you hang with Dark Gift, if you hang with Carol Carol, if you hang with Wiggle, if you hang with um, who else is on the list? Oh, J JD Kirby. If you hang with any of those people, you're bigots, you deserve to be on the bigot list. All you. Every one of you. Jack's ever promoting the link. So, there, okay, so the funny thing about the link is this there's no www dot in the beginning. So, when you go onto the on the search on the browser bar, you just type in roadwarriordrake.com. If you put in www dot, for some reason, it doesn't direct you there. It gives you like a little warning. So just put roadwarriordrake.com. That's all you got to put, and that'll take you to the crowdfunder site. And then you can back the book there if you haven't backed it already. Yes, um, Pothead, cheesecake. We all love cheesecake. Tell me we don't. I know I do. I'm honest about it, though. So totally, 100%. 100%. But yeah, back to the hand here. Back to the hand, the weakness of the hand. Uh, Dark says we are the true slacks, the true hacks of the Slums Wiggle. We have officially confused everyone in the community. Yes. Once people give up on analyzing the community, you've won. Uh, I got my duel with Narwhal. I am training for my duel next week on Dark Gift's cockfight. It's going to be me versus Narwhal. Here's the funny thing. I am on two competitions. I'm on the Pro, the CG 2024 Pro Grifter Tournament, and I'm doing the cockfight with Narwhal. The difference is I, I want to beat Norwalk. I don't want to beat Shane. That's the difference. That's the difference. Okay, Jack Stafford is awarding Ombre temporary duties to wash the list. Get the get get two bottles, Jack. One for you, one for me. One for you and one for me. Medical says, I'm getting better. All hail the peanut head. Oh. I've been nothing but friendly to you, Medical. I've been good to you. Nothing but good to you. Oh no, we were Regal's getting me too by Jack Stafford. 
Oh no, he's getting piss scored. He's getting piss scored by Jack Stafford. Oh no, very raunchy. Did he at least buy you flowers? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's pretty Gates' wiggle. Ethan would approve. <laughs> yes, he would. Uh, Knowles is your only winner. That's why Shane Davis needs to be voted for. Vote for Shane Davis so that I can win. Can't you plead, you marginalized? I, I'm pleading for you guys to vote for Shane Davis. He deserves your vote. So where's the fun in that? Um, I'm losing track of the chat here. Let me scroll down a little bit here. Okay. Uh, scroll down a little more here. Yes, a troon. Yes. Oh, that. Dark gave the wiggle trading troon drinks. And they're not paying for it. That's their MO. We just accept they have no noses. Are you talking about the women here? Yeah, the noses. Okay, so yeah, with this style of manga and anime, which I've seen in, in various shows and, and manga, is the nose tips are like right by the edge of the eyes. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, if you look over here on the left, if you look at her right eye in the bottom, you can see it at the tip of the nose. If you look at the lady to the left, her nose tip is emphasized by shadow. I've seen this technique used before. It's It can be effective, but I can see why people would be very confused by it. Yeah, CG cockfight. Me versus Narwhal next week. This week, though, it's Dilla versus Rini Draws. So that'll be a fun one. So why don't they have noses? They do. It's just this is a style which I personally don't like it when it comes to manga and anime. But yeah, again, if you look at the girl on the left, her nose tip is on the bottom of her eye, her right eye. So let me see if I can enlarge even more. So that okay. So for those that can't see, if you look at her her right eye, on the bottom of the eye, you see the curve on the bottom. That's her nose tip right there. That's how they 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 draw the noses when she's looking at you from a three quarters angle. And the lady on the on the right here, her nose tip is emphasized by the shading, the, the the shadow being cast over on the other side of the nose. That's how they emphasize the the nose uh, on this one. So, two techniques that I've seen used on manga and anime. But admittedly, I personally uh, am not a fan of it. But it is a thing. So, about it, as we go repeatedly say he's he's not a hack. So this is false. He's definitely a hack. Don't let him fool you. He's definitely a hack. For sure. Indie cockfights. Dark Game Monster Mummy. It isn't CG cockfights. It's indie cockfights. Yes, because anybody can do it. Anybody. Indie cockfights. This week it's Dilla Draws versus Rini. Next week it's me versus Norwal. Me versus Norwal. A free drink is a free drink, says Dark Gift. So Dark Gift doesn't discriminate. You could be a woman or a troon, as long as it's a free drink. Confirmed from Dark Gift. If that's a tip of her nose, it's huge. Yeah, yeah, again, I'm not a fan of that type of, of style with the drawing, but it is a thing. It's not exclusive to Eiji Tomo. A lot of bang artists do it. Not all of them, but some do. And I've seen it before, and then I'm not particularly a big fan of it. I have some Kool-Aid I'm willing to share with the group. Oh, you've given out the Kool-Aid, Carol. You've given out the Kool-Aid. That's why the bigotry list by Jack Stafford grows, because you've handed out that Kool-Aid. Uh... Yes, make sure you taste it first. Manicore is also commenting on the Kool-Aid. You guys are you, you guys are falling for a trap. Stop trusting women on the internet. Stop it. Tom Pop says definitely trust trusting. Definitely watching the cockfights. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now what's in this horrific box that the Quaff sent me. This demonic box that he's put and sent to me. Um from uh oh, I'm afraid, but Jack Staff, if you're watching, whatever happens to me, this stream is in your hands. So, so I'm opening this demonic box that was sent to me by the Quaff. This box contains a demonic package. If I don't do it, someone's gonna do it and get hurt. I'd rather it be me because then no one else gets hurt. So I will do it. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's bubble wrap. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. 
you guys wanted a conventional unwrapping, that don't have this is not the right. You're in the wrong stream. Uh, let's see here. I hope it's what whatever it is. Hopefully the bombs are, are cut off here. So there's a peanut in the center of your camera. Oh wait, you're, fuck yeah. Come on, cousin. You're wearing two crosses. You'd be okay. Yeah, you're right. I am wearing two crosses, and one of these contains the ashes of my beloved Stephanie. So I should be okay. She's watching me and making sure that I don't blow up. So let's see here. Okay. Well, I can confirm one thing. I can confirm one thing. There's definitely bubble wrap in this box. So he was trying to hide it from customs. Very good, cloth. Very good. Let's see. As I open this, more toys. No, this is a this is a weapon. I'm I'm about to find out that this is a weapon. Wiggle. It's a Valentine card, says Kirby Kirby. He choo choo chooses you. No, he does not. He's choosing me for harassment and targeting. Who opened the box like that? I do. Because it doesn't deserve the respect of its conventional unboxing. And why do you care, Carol? You're on the hate list now. You're on the bigotry list. So why do you why do you matter? Use my teeth. No, I need my teeth. I love my teeth. It's part of my identity. I can't do that to my teeth. I would never do such a thing. I like my teeth. I'm not struggling. I am giving it the respect it deserves, Manticore. Totally. Uh, you leave my finger alone, Kirby Kirby. That was from Manticore. He deserved it. There is a metaphor in this somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's the bubble wrap. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> More bubble wrap. Let's see. Who sends weapons overseas with bubble wrap? Who does that? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. Guys, it's a weapon. I am not dark yet. I confirmed it. He sent me a weapon. This is a, this is a this is a sign that he's gonna end me. I'm not joking. This this, this is a weapon. look at this. You guys ready for this? Hide your kids because this is, this could get me a, a struggle on YouTube for the adult content. Okay, this is an actual weapon he sent me. Ready? Holy shit! Look at this. He sent me an airplane, a war plane. Look at this. Look at this. This has guns on it. This is a clear sign that he's after me and trying to kill me. This is a clear sign. Yes, Java. Uh, uh, FL, F Java says LC. This is a clear sign. See, I'm not joking. See? A weapon. This is a weapon. A weapon of war. Right here. I knew it. I freaking knew it. No, it's not It's not a toy, Kirby Kirby. This, this is a weapon. Dude, this isn't an airplane. These things have missiles. These things have curved people in the past. Hail the enact, says I'll see. No, these aren't toys, uh, Manticore. This is a weapon. What's wrong with you people? I want to prove it to you. I'm going to prove it right now. Hold on. Oh, God. Look at this. This is dangerous. Look at this. Like, you could put this thing together the wrong way, and your house could explode. Look at this. Like, look, it didn't got the clear stuff, too. Whatever this is, this is this is deadly. Oh, it didn't got labels and stickers and shit. This is who's gonna put this together and and, and, and not get affected? This truck, this box is a trauma. This is trauma right here. Check the content and see if it's real. No, it's definitely real. Look, the parts are real. See, this is real. I'm holding this in my hand. See? This is this is physical matter. This is not antimatter. This is totally real. And it's got stickers. This is real too. And and what is it? Oh no, it's a manual. Oh no. This is a man. See, look, the manifesto. A manifesto. See? I knew it. This, is, this has the outline for my demise. The outline is right here. You guys have seen it. See, look. Here's the outline. I'm telling you, this is. Hope to right now. 
Dark Gift says, does this mean... Wait, what does that say? Does this mean we have to crop on a toy box now? Don't feel sorry for me. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm a human being. No, they're not went they're not meant for me, Banticore. It's meant for my destruction and my end. <sighs> Some assembly required. I can't read Japanese. I don't, I, I could for all I know, I could make that into a fucking pencil sharpener when all is said and done. I don't know. Curry Curry says you can make that and hang that and the Godzilla you have from the ceiling fan and make like a grown man mobile. You know, like babies have on their cur- why are you paid? I'm a human being. I'm an adult, Kirby Kirby. I'm a grown man. I don't do that. I don't keep my box, my action figures in boxes. I play with them. Because only kids put them in their boxes. No, I consume my my action figures by playing with them. As, as they were meant to be played with. He's going to gloom self to himself when he puts it together. I sense an attack in that comment, Carol. A major attack. The stickers are tough. The stickers are, are, I'm telling you, right now, I know what the stickers are about. Oh, I know what they're about, uh, Kirby Kirby. Or oh, Hothead, I'm sorry. There's a manifesto in there somewhere. I'm telling you. I got 31 people watching right now. They're watching the imminent destruction of my end. Totally. Um, yeah, you know what? You do build and paint better than me. Shit, I got to paint this? I paint this shit. I'm going to put it together. Just all that shit. No, no, the sticker. Okay, that's what the stickers are for. The stickers are there to to to, to put in the spots where I would have painted it, but I don't need to paint it because the stickers are there. Wait, what, what? What? Why am I legitimizing this? This is a threat to my life. Why am I legitimizing this? Um, I am not licking them. I am not licking them. Yes, Wiggles a model nerd, but the Queen sent the manual because you know you couldn't read. That's why he he want. Yeah, this is why you're never going to see me after this. He says, be back. I got sandbags to fill. I'll see the inactive. Hell. Um, no, my, my life is over now, man. Accord. This is the end of me. You won't see me anymore after today. I'll be dead. The weapon of mass destruction that the Quapa sent me will claim my life. I'm dead. Those are decals, not stickers. You're right. I I, I mis misgendered them. They're decals, not stickers. Yes. Amateurs. Amateur. What's an amateur? Oh. Amateur. Well, there's nine minutes left before Darkest uh, Indie Slums allegedly starts. I say allegedly because he never starts on time. Prove me wrong. Does he ever start on time? I've never seen a stream where he starts on time. So I don't know. But... I'll go for a couple minutes more, then I'll play an outro, and hopefully that'll signal Dark Gift's time to start the stream. Start the stream on time. Not on, not on time, and the hour-long intro. Yeah, he doesn't start on time, and he adds like an hour of intro, so that by that time, he manipulates the community to go congregate with him because they then they're going to miss something important, and they don't because it's just the Tony Macaroni song when they come in there. What are you reviewing next week? I got my list, so I I know we don't tell people until like a, a day or two before the stream. So um, I will know, or well, you guys will know. Should I live? Should I live? All this is is contingent upon if I live or not. But if I live, uh, you'll know uh, about Monday or Tuesday of next week who my next artist I'm uh, profiling will be, and their artwork that I'm profiling. They will not work on raw. Plastic. Okay, so how do you get decals on those things then? How does that work? Do I need, do I need to glue them on? Do I need wood glue or something? Like, how does that work? It's called fashionably late. Yeah, that's the uh, indie slums stream. Fashionably late. You know, I've never put a model kit together before. I don't know why you thought I could do this, but um, I suppose uh, I guess uh, should I should I uh, put it together? On stream, I don't know. Uh, wood glue to put a sticker, yes. Wood glue to put a sticker on a plastic model. I don't know if you're being facetious or not, Carol, but you are on the bigot list, so I guess you're allowed to be facetious because you've already been judged. I'm not sure. I could tell you, but then you'll be bored, says Wiggle. 
You're right, I will be bored. I'll just use the wood glue and fuck it up. Why not? Now I want to model it. No, you don't, Mahadev. You want the stuff delivered complete and already put together. Ask me if I've ever bought a Godzilla model kit. I don't own model kits because I'm not a bottle builder. I buy my shit completely already put together so I can consume it. See, look. See, you think this guy came in a uh, built? The only thing that was served from Godzilla was the tail. Put the tail in together, and then boom, I got my action figure that I can consume and play with. Same thing with Angulus. Same thing. Consume. He came in as is. Uh, even um, my uh, my Toka figure from Ninja Turtles uh, Secret of the Use came in already uh, put together. I didn't have to put put them together or anything. So why would I put a model kit together? Who does that? Who builds model kits? That's kind of, um, um, I don't know, Fergie? I don't do that. You keep flipping tables like 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 you have something um, intriguing to say, and you don't. And I'm on to you. Oh, Compop is saying later. I'm going to fix my makeup for the slums. Compop, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you being here. Hope to see you next week. Your your contributions were great, so I I thank you for that. Then of course, when in doubt, yes, with the uh, wood glue. Just buy forty k. No, forty k. Forty. Okay, this is why you're on the bigotry list, Wiggle. Wiggle. You're on the big choice because now you got to bring in the war the Warhammer porn. Stop it! We don't do 40k here. I don't allow it. Bobby Reynolds says hi. Well, hi. My kid has a oh f off. Fuck off. These are vinyl figures. They're not bat toys. They're vinyl figures. Huh. On that note, I'm gonna call it a stream. So uh, I thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, hail to Jack Stafford for, for keeping the bigotry list growing, for taking names, and for uh, um, keeping this chat in check because you've all been very mean and hostile to me. Hateful, evil, bigots. The last one of you. Hateful, evil, bigots. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You all deserve that. All of you. Bigots, the last the last one of you, all you, extreme bigots, hateful, hate mongers. Every single last one of you.